Hey everybody, welcome to 2016. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done an actual video uh, review of any character, uh, so I figured I'd start with the new year uh, right into a top 10 list. This will be Tyler's top 10 Transformers of 2015. Uh, spoiler alert, Ultra Magnus and Devastator both make the list, but where do they fall? Uh, hope you enjoy. Let's start with number 10. Alright, flying in at number 10 is Powerglide. Powerglide is part of Wave 1 of the Combiner Wars. He's a Legends class figure, so, you know, he's rightfully tiny. Um, and but what's great about Powerglide this year is he finally becomes uh, the sixth member of the Aerial Bots. He transforms into a gun for Superion to hold, and while he may not, you know, most of the Combiners have a little hard time uh, holding up the weight of Powerglide, uh, he looks great um, with all sorts of different teams. All right, rolling in at number nine is Rook. Rook is part of the Wave 3 of Combiner Wars. Before I get into why I liked Rook so much this year, let me just say that one of the themes of my top 10 list is um, 2015 was a year of change for Transformers. Um, Rook is one of those minor changes that upset a lot of people, but to me, um, represented something exciting about the brand. Let's go into a couple reasons why he's really, really cool. I mean, check out, first of all, that, uh, that head sculpt he has. Um, doesn't really zoom very well, but you can see he's got this cool kind of uh, almost like football helmet, kind of almost Russian-style head um, that has that sweet Autobot symbol at the top. His weapon is this cool like Jaws of Life thing. Uh, another awesome benefit of this guy is he's got cool ankle tilts, what, which many of the Transformers in Combiner Wars did not have. Um, which helps set him apart. Overall, I was really excited to see Groove, or sorry, sorry, Rook. Uh, really excited to see Rook uh, simply because he's new and um, he looks great. Let's, uh, let's get away from Combiner Wars and uh, check out a different line that everybody loves and enjoys um, as our number eight figure. All right, check it out. Number eight is Masterpiece Bumblebee, the Generation 2 version uh, that came out this year. Uh, overall, this figure, if you haven't seen any video reviews of Bumblebee or anything like from the Masterpiece line, um, it's top-notch. The quality is fantastic. Uh, you will get pretty much every, uh, every dollar's worth out of these type of figures. Um, and Masterpiece Bumblebee is no exception. He's tiny. Uh, he's very well articulated. He comes with this sweet battle mask head sculpt, the Generation 2 symbol, the Generation 2 Autobot symbol right there on the chest. His blaster is uh, this really cool black color. Um, he does come with a couple of accessories that I didn't want to dig out, particularly for this review, like a jetpack, but he looks great just displayed by itself. Uh, when you take a look at a top 10 list, uh, you don't typically see uh, figures get smaller or less complex as you go uh, lower in the numbers. But I just, I had to pick, uh, I had to pick Minimus Ambus as, uh, you know, one of my top figures for 2015. I love that last year, 2015, we actually saw something out of more than meets the eye. Um, hopefully you can see, uh, but he has that really sweet stash kind of like this dark green, uh, you know, goatee. All right, coming in at number six is Combiner Wars Hotspot. I wanted to pick one torso uh, Voyager class transformer to kind of make the list, and uh, I decided Hotspot was the best out of all of them. Um, I did a pretty extensive review of Hotspot, which I'll link to if you really want to get my full thoughts on him. But real quick, uh, his color scheme, his posability, uh, his his awesome combined mode, uh, his cool double guns, just every everything about Hotspot I think just screams to me uh, what I wanted to see out of Combiner Wars. The great thing about him is that even if you weren't into doing a bunch of different combiners or even buying other limb bots like Rook, you could get away with just buying Hotspot and being really really satisfied with the figure. All right, here we are, the top five of my top 10 2015 Transformers list. Um, let me just come right out and say that the I did not pick uh, this character for uh, the actual toy. Um, 
Number five spot goes to Robots in Disguise Strong Arm, simply because, uh, and again, the theme I mentioned earlier on, uh, 2015 was a great year of change for uh, Transformers. We saw a lot of different um, steps forward in the franchise, and one of them is that more and more female characters started to make waves across the fandom, across the series, in all sorts of different types of media. Uh, we Not only did we have our Combiner Wars uh, fan-voted uh, Combiner as Victorian, an all-female Combiner team, but 2015 we saw Robots in Disguise launch and introduce the character in the world uh, to this character, Strongarm. Um, I had to put her on this list, especially in the top five, simply because I love that female Transformers are making a big impact in uh, in general. And without getting on my soapbox, I really do think that, uh, you know, gender diversity is super important in pretty much everything. So it makes me excited that kids today um, are getting more than just RC as their female Transformer character. All right, and the number four spot goes to none other than, uh, you know, the leader of the Decepticons, or rather, the ex-leader of the Decepticons, uh, Combiner Wars, Leader Class Megatron. Um, but overall, the figure is just fantastic. The silver paint looks so good. The fusion cannon, as long as you have it twisted around like this, not the, the normal way, uh, looks great. He has a weapon, you know, he has light piping, he is cool. Rubber treads that, that work. Um, you know, he's a little light and he's missing like any sort of electronics, which is one of the, I guess, one of the downfalls of, of some of the changes Hasbro's been making these, these days. But overall, he is an awesome figure. There was a while where I wasn't quite satisfied with his legs and thought maybe about picking up an upgrade set for him, but then as time went on and, you know, the way he looks on my shelf, I just decided, eh, I didn't need it. He's great on his own. If this was a couple years ago and he was still just same old Megatron, you know, going around being some sort of Saturday morning cartoon villain, uh, he wouldn't have made this list. But now that his character is really being explored and the history of who Megatron is and why he did the things he did and the character himself, um, you know, easily secures him in, uh, in the top five. All right, taking the number three spot is Masterpiece Ultra Magnus. This is the last Masterpiece figure on the list, uh, but, you know, I'm definitely not disappointed with the way the Masterpiece line had gone this year. If I had to pick just one to be the, my favorite of the year, it definitely goes to Ultra Magnus. Uh, he started, I started out January playing with this guy, and I just, you know, fell in love. The character is great in current comics, but then the Generation 1 uh, version of this guy is just... I mean, he's just so classic looking. He's, you know, dare I say, a perfect representation of Generation 1's Ultra Magnus. The figure itself comes with a bunch of different uh, fun and exciting accessories. You know, you get you get Daniel and you get Spike as, as two little human figures that can ride in his cab. Um, he's got his awesome blaster, the missiles. Uh, he's got a different face if you want to have a kind of like an angrier looking uh, Magnus. And, um, you know, he's hefty, he's cool, he's got rubber tires, his transformation is really, really fun. His cab kind of just tucks up into his uh, body there, and then his trailer just wraps around to make this, this you know, super powerful looking silhouette. Uh, he towers over most other figures in my collection, uh, and uh, looks great at, on the top of my, uh, my shelf. Definitely one of the key, key items in my display. All right, check it out. Number two goes to Combiner Wars Devastator, the Titan class figure for 2015. Uh, if you had to pick one figure, it's, it seems weird, you know, since I'm calling him number two on my list. Uh, for most Transformer fans, the, the one figure to represent the entire year would be Devastator. Uh, this was the year of Combiner Wars, and there's no other definitive uh, Combiner other than Devastator. I'm really super happy that this year they decided to give him the Titan class treatment. He looks fantastic. Um, 
six Voyager size figures, uh, all combined into this massive green and purple beast. And uh, he's the only Decepticon to make my list. I was just gushing about how big Ultra Magnus is, so let's just, you know, throw him in here as a comparison. He's, uh, he's pretty big. And then for giggles, we'll put uh, minimum, Minimus, Minimus Ambus right up there next to his head. Who can beat this massive beast for the number one spot? Let's take a look. All right, without further ado, my number one pick for favorite Transformer of 2015 goes to none other than Combiner Wars Alpha Bravo. This guy, you know, I already spent a bunch of time, you know, going over why I love Alpha Bravo in my separate review of him, but this guy is easily my favorite figure of 2015 simply because he was the start of it all. He was the start of that change I was talking about. When Alpha Bravo was revealed, everybody was like, what the hell, why is some random orange helicopter guy part of uh, the aerial bots? And, you know, I saw that and I was like, cool, uh, a helicopter. Um, and he looks awesome. And he is. He is my favorite figure of 2015. He represents what I love about Combiner Wars. He is just an, uh, has awesome kind of personality in his mold. Uh, he turns into a helicopter, he's got missiles on his hands, that head sculpt just looks freaking fantastic. You know, I just, I love him. I love him because also because he just gets a bunch of hate on the internet too, and I just don't understand why people get so grumpy over anything. This is literally a... Transformers is literally just a bunch of toys. It's, uh, it's, it's... There to, you're supposed to have fun with it, and those people that can't have fun uh, enjoying something new and something fresh, then, you know, that's on them. Me, I'm just going to go over here and just freaking, uh, you know, have fun with my sweet transforming helicopter guy, and uh, hopefully make some more videos. See you guys later.